السلام علیکم رحمت اللہ وبرکاتہ سامعین و حضرات In this today's episode we shall witness the behavior of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam with his servants So how Prophet Muhammad treated his servants Zaid ibn Haritha Zaid ibn Haritha is from one of the tribes of Ammon. Zaid's mother and Zaid's father were from two different tribes, from the Ammonite tribes. And there was a love-hate relationship between these two tribes. Sometimes they are good, sometimes they are bad. And one day Zaid's mother took Zaid to her own tribe and it so happened that a small skirmish broke out right at there. And her husband's tribe and her tribe Okay, so Zaid's extended relatives, some distant uncles and whatnot, they got so angry that they did something very cruel. They took this child, seven, eight years old, they kidnapped him, and even though she is a part of their own tribe, but because in Islam, son belongs to the father, and son takes the lineage of the father, so to get revenge of that tribe, they actually stole one of their own sisters, relatively speaking, sister's children, and that is Zaid, and they kidnapped him obviously without the knowledge of his mother and they showed and they sold him to Hakim ibn Hizam and Hakim ibn Hizam is of course the nephew of Khadija Khadija had given Hakim money and said go find an young slave from me I need a servant for home and so he becomes uh, like that uh, when Khadija marries the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam so Khadija gifted this servant to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam this is a way before Islam Zaid's father is fantastically looking for his son Hajj and uh, this is all in these days somehow that from the part of the world in Amen saw Zaid and recognized that his looks are from the tribes of Zaid's father this is the boy that his father is frantically looking for him and so when they returned from Hajj they told Zaid's father we think we found your son and he and he didn't uh, get as much money as possible and the father and the brother he was go, goes with his brother they travel Mecca instantaneously as soon as they get there the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and he said um, I am Muhammad Ibn Abdul Muttalib he describes him to his grandfather you are the most noble lineage and Allah has blessed you and he keeps on praising and praising him Ya Muhammad we want to take our son back who was unjustly stolen or kidnapped and sold into slavery we will give you any ransom you want but please be generous with us because we can only afford so much and so the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said is this what you want from me that I send Zaid back with you? They said yes. And for whatever price you want, we are prepared to give this price for you. So the Prophet said, It is up to him. I will leave the matter to Zaid. And if he chooses you, then I will send him back without any ransom. And I don't need your money. But if he chooses me, then I can never turn away from somebody who has turned to me. And so they said, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, you have done marvelous, you have done more than we could have asked for. So the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam called Zaid and we can imagine Zaid was probably around 25 years old at the time roughly. So he's grown up when he was kidnapped, he was 7, 8, he was just a child. So the Prophet sallallahu asked Zaid, do you recognize these two men? And they said, yes, I do. This is my father and this is my uncle. I recognize them. So the Prophet said, they have come requesting that you go back with them and I have left the matter to you. If you want, you may go back with your father and your uncle and if you want, you may remain with me. Instantaneously, Zaid says that I can never choose anyone over for you. You are to me more than a father and an uncle mine. Zaid's father stood up and she says, Harita, and he says, Oh Zaid, have you gone crazy? Have you gone mad? You will choose to be a slave in this strange land and you refuse to come back with your own father to your own tribe. And Zaid remarks for him, Yes, I have made my choice. I know what I have said and I have seen from this man 
from my own childhood that which he cannot choose anyone over him and when Zayd said this the Prophet ﷺ stood up took him by the hand and went to this and that we just talked about the open part of the Kaaba and he stood there and he made an announcement that where you made the announcement and she said oh people of Makkah I want you all to be testified that from now on onward Zuhayb is a free man and I have adopted him as my son and he will inherit from me and I will inherit from him so he became known as Zuhayb ibn Muhammad and he did this in front of the father in order to bring some peace to the father's heart that look your son Zayr is no longer a slave and I will adopt him and I will take care of him and he will inherit from me I am the grandson of the Abdul Muttalib Ibn Umar Sayyid we will never know of Zayd by any other name except Zayd Ibn Muhammad that's all I thought I, uh, he was until Allah revealed Surah Ahzab verse 5 way later 30 years after this incident happened right and in Surah actually that Surah describes about that call children by their fathers that is what is noble in the eyes of Allah and so that was when the Prophet rechanged the name of Zayd and he said this is now Zayd ibn Haritha and not Zayd ibn Muhammad Zayd is one of those few people who it has been said were the first to accept Islam it is enough of blessing for Zayd ibn Haritha that he is the only companion for whom Allah mentions by name in the Quran he is only the companion Evo, he is only a Sahaba, the only Sahaba whose name will be recited until the day of the judgment. So this is how that Prophet Muhammad considered their slaves as his son, his own lineage. This is the beautiful teaching, uh, this is the second last episode of this season first. Tomorrow we shall continue with the last episode of this season that is the Jibreel, how Jibreel met the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Thank you very much.